just like a Hannibal in Spain. Oh, my God. Oh, go on. Don't argue. No, you want to go on. No, no, no. You come and give me an answer. Oh, that's an emergency if ever I heard one. But the doctor's here, Mum. What? He's here. I only this minute took him upstairs. Well, you might have said. Well, we didn't give him much chance now, did we? Oh. I dread to think what he's doing to him. You sure it was the doctor? Why, yes. I'm not the proper doctor. Doctor Hall. I thought perhaps he might have sent his wood to McCullough. Locum. Oh, well, if it's Dr. Hall himself, well, In person. Oh, well, it's all right. Nothing to worry about. I mean, he does know what he's talking about, doesn't he? Just that all the same. Had plenty of practice, goodness me. Perhaps he's a bit past it, then. Oh, well, speak for yourself. He's never done me no harm. I didn't know you had him, Mum. No, I hadn't. That's not his fault, because I'm as fit as a fiddle, is it? He's the medical advisor to the Dunrich group. Yeah, look what happened to Mr. Dunrich. Well, it's true. Oh, well, look at the love of Healy. The best of everything. Ah, oh, but he never took care of himself. No, and he didn't. He wouldn't listen to reason. Went at life like a bull at a gate. Now, you've got to be fair. All right, but if you've got to look after yourself, there's no point in having doctors. That's my attitude. Well, if you ask me, they're like church. They're all right for births and funerals. And they're more expensive. Mm. Of course, you don't need them for weddings, that's something. Well, you don't have to have church for that, do you? That'll do from you. <laughs> well, I'm in the lead cookery, I suppose. What time you'll be going to the office, Mum? Beats was wondering. Oh, well, I want to have a word with the doctor first. I'll fetch him into you as soon as he comes down, shall I? Oh, would you, dear? Here, uh, my secretary, please. Uh, Jean? Oh, look, everything all right, dear? No, I'm not checking up on you. No, goodness. It's just that I might be in a bit late this morning. You see, what with the doctor? No, it's not me. I've not been ill since coronation night. And then. Oh, well, never mind. No, it's Mr. Hunter. Well, I don't know, but he was ever so sorry for himself. Yes, and now the doctor. Well,. I shouldn't think it'd be long, so if you can manage, I would like to, you know, stop and have a word with him before he goes. All right. Bye-bye. Dr. Hall, Mum. Oh. My dear Mrs. Thursday. Oh, thank you for coming, Doctor. <laughs> not at all, not at all. It's what we're here for, isn't it? Hmm? Besides, it's always a pleasure. Well, yes, how the, we... Uh, the patient, hmm? Uh, that's the heart of the matter, isn't it? The unfortunate hunter. Will hmm? you be all right, will he? Oh, yes, yes, a little rest, uh, a little discipline, you know, and I... I think we can safely say that he'll survive. Yes, I, I don't think there's any doubt that he'll pull through. <laughs> no offence, but I've often wondered, uh, where'd you learn all that? I mean, do you learn it in the medical school? Which? Well, all that flannel, you know, using all them words where one would do. Oh, dear. I, I don't mean to be rude, but I really wondered. It's what's so devastating. It's a habit, I suppose. Ah, now, yes, but where did it all start? I mean, you couldn't have been born like it, or were you? Certainly not. It's generally reckoned to be the best bedside manner in Harley Street. It took me years to acquire, I might tell you. Uh, people expect it. It's, it's one of the things they pay for. Funny. Because I didn't mean nothing personal. No, no. Um, about Mr. Hunter. Well, it's not so bad, then. No, no, it's just a chill. I see. Oh, he made enough fuss about it, didn't he? You heard. What were you doing to him? I was only sounding his chest. Go on. He complained that the stethoscope was cold. Ooh, <laughs> me. It's a touch of bronchitis. I've left him some medicine which would help to clear it. Oh, well, nothing much to worry about. Oh, good heavens. No, no, a couple of days in bed and he should be as right as rain. I'll look in again the day after tomorrow. I see. Well, thank you ever so much for coming. <laughs> well, it'll be on the bill. <laughs> there, now I have offended you. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, but uh, see that he stays in bed till I come again. Though there's really nothing to worry about. But I'd rather he stayed in an even temperature for a day or two. Ah, sir. Yes, I um, will. Yes, I'll make sure. Yes, I'm uh, sure you will. Uh, yeah. I suppose uh, you wouldn't like a cup of tea or cocoa before you go? Uh, thank you, no, but I, I really ought to dash. Oh, a lot more rich patients to look in on, I expect. Well, uh, actually, I'm due at the hospital. Uh, it may surprise you, but I, I give them a couple of days a week. Oh, dear. Oh, I am sorry. I didn't realise. Oh, why I... should you? Well, I mean, I wouldn't have said well, that. Perhaps it's compensation for fleecing the undeserving for the rest of the week. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. 
feeling? Oh, not too bad. Ah. Well, doctor doesn't seem to think you're dying. Fact lot he knows. Just a touch of bronchitis, that's all. Oh, mere bagatelle. Well, worse things happen in war. Well, he may not have cured me. He certainly succeeded in brainwashing you. He's not such a fool as he looks, you know. Would be difficult, I grant you. <sighs> oh, you really uh, left you some medicine. Some poisonous concoction. Oh, it's not as bad as all that, I'm sure. See for yourself. And if you were thinking of removing the stopper, I'd sit down first, if I were you. Oh, it's quite nice. Help yourself. Certainly not. You're the one what's ill. Uh, oh, you ought to take it. I'm resigned to doctors being a pack of murderous fools, but I must say, Mrs. T, it hurts that you should wish to speak my demise, too. Oh, go on. In all me bone days, I never heard such a fuss made about a bit of a chill. Huh, chill. Well, that's what the doctor said. How the devil does he know how I feel? Well, you've got to stay here for two days feeling sorry for yourself. So make the most of it. I'm not to get up. You're not to leave the room, do you hear? Oh, forgive me. What for? I had meant to arrange about my successor in case the worst comes to the worst. Oh, do leave up. I'm half an hour late at the office as it is. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll manage somehow. Anything I can get you before no, I No, I don't want to put you to any more trouble. No books, no papers? No, I'll just lie here dozing quietly. <laughs> You didn't ought to be smoking. Oh, I couldn't. No, sure? Uh, positive. Well, well, you won't want these, will you? Oh! About your lunch. Oh, nothing much. Breast of chicken, a couple of boiled potatoes, a bit of asparagus, and a half pint of champagne. I see. Something light. You'll get a cup of beef tea and a piece of dry toast at 12 o'clock. But you're supposed to feed a cold. And starve a fever, don't you tell me. Yes, well, even that damn fool of a doctor didn't say I got a fever. It's a chill, isn't it? Yes. Well, you starve that too. Oh. You see, a chill can turn to the fever. But... Ah! So we're going to be on the safe side. Mrs. T. No, beef tea. Oh. Yes. Speaking. Oh, yes, telegram. So just hold on a minute, will you? I'll get a pencil. Yes. Yes, I've got that, thanks. No, there's no need to send confirmation. Twenty hundred hours, 14th of June, B, A, F. It's the 14th today. Carla Cap, good evening. At your service. Hello, then. What do you want? Well, you think you're twin? I'm here to collect a fare. Well, you've got the wrong address. There, that'll teach you to be saucy. Oh, haven't you, though? Know? Don't make that kind of mistake, girl. Been too long in the job. Well, Mrs. T's not back yet. Cook's off, and I'm sure I didn't call you. Mr. Hunter. He's in bed. Then he'd better get up a bit sharpish, hadn't he? Hang around here half the night. What's this, then? Telephone booking slip. What's it say? Customer's name, address. Go to customer's home, collect, and drive to London Airport to arrive by 20 hundred hours. Clear enough, isn't it? But he's ill. Well, how come I've got... Search me. There must, must be some a mistake. mistake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here, do us a favour. Slip upstairs and see if he knows anything about this, will you? Say please, and I might. Please. Here, you'll get me the sack. Hang on, then. Here. Well? How about if I was to nip up after you, eh? I'd tell my fiancé. What's he in the Marines? The commando. Oh, in that case, tell him I never moved off the front doorstep, won't you? <laughs> oh! Oh! Help! What? Struth! be all right. 
But it was only this morning that you told me there was nothing wrong with him. It wasn't this morning. Oh, that's why he fell down unconscious, I suppose. You told me, you stood there and told me. I told you to see that he stayed in bed in the warm. I've been at the office all day. It's all right, but you undertook to see that he obeyed my instructions. Well, I wasn't to know he was going to do anything so stupid as get up, dress himself and try to go out. Now, was I? Well, you've known him longer than I have. Well, well, that's why I was took bad, I suppose. Well, that and the fact that he hasn't touched the medicine that I left him either. Honest, it's you what ought to be bawling me out. Let's just agree that Mr Hunter is a difficult patient. Oh, you can say that again. Uh, I've sent for a trained nurse. Uh, that is, uh... Oh, no, anything you think for the best. Well, it's not as serious as it sounds, but he's delirious, running a fever. Pneumonia. On a touch, I shouldn't wonder. Oh, dear. Oh, it's nothing these days. But the nurse... Oh, that's just to see that he behaves himself. If he starts running around the place again, he could be really ill. Oh, well. Oh, I expect you want to be getting along. Uh, well, if you don't mind, I'd sooner stay and see the nurse installed. Uh, she should be here any minute now. Well, would you like a bit of food before you go? No, thanks. Oh, something to drink, perhaps? Oh, well, I, I wouldn't mind a whiskey. Oh, please do. Help yourself, because oh. I always get the soda on the ceiling. <laughs> Can I get you one? Well, I could do with one. I really could. Well, speaking as your medical advisor, uh, soda, water? Just a splash. Oh. <laughs> uh, how's that? Lovely. Well. Fluff in your keel. Hmm? Of course, I'm not really much of a one for this, only hearing it like that on the car telephone. Well, you know how people panic, and you see, it wasn't till I got home, I mean, that I, I knew for certain, you know, um, well, whether he was just ill, you see, well, I mean, uh, not for certain I didn't, not know, uh, and, and it gave me quite a turn, and I think that's what made me a bit short with you. What beats me is what on earth possessed him to do such a stupid thing? He was going to the airport. Oh, so sorry. Right. He was going to the airport. And what's more, he had the taxi was booked to come back here. Well, he was going to meet someone then, but who? Ah, I meant to find out. How? Oh. Easy. I sent the taxi to the airport to see if there was anyone there expecting to be met by Mr. Hunter. And if there is? He's going to bring him back here. Oh, that ought to set his temperature soaring. What do you mean? Well, whoever dragged him out of his bed in a state of collapse, well, she must be fairly... Oh, uh, what makes you think it's a she? Well, there's usually a woman at the bottom of most stupid and irrational male behaviour. Oh, and the other way about. True. Well, all I know is she's going to get a piece of my mind dragging him out of bed like that when he's ill. Well, perhaps she didn't know. Or care, more like. I know the salt he goes for, and believe me... It... Come in, ye! Excuse me, Mum, the nurse. Yeah. Ah, well oh. then, if you don't mind, I'll just go and see her. Oh, well, anything she wants, Sally will see to it, won't you, dear? Yes, Mum. <laughs> 